But anyway, it's over to the Barbados Civil Society. It was a kind of exhilaration among the, the, uh, the members of the Barbados Civil Society. Uh, and certainly, I enjoyed if I enjoyed my my stay in all in all the party, some people were here, some people were not here. But Jesus said in the Bible, is that uh, there are thousands that hear me, but there are also tens of thousands that love me too. So that's what so that's what it is. And I know that at some point, I see a time when I said that all the people that said my people shall be for the poor to be. I got at some point all the people that said my people shall be. Who we are the idol of the party, but it affects we be too. <laughs> because that is, that, is, that, that is politics, right? But I always felt comfortable in my mind because they were doing it to the people and who we would say correctly. Okay. Or by the way, to, maybe since we're talking about the cross and the cross, I want to see people all so annoying that I don't know, somebody don't ask me this. Oh, we don't know why you also start as an independent member of parliament. It means that independent people in my opinion what they call it, it's saying that it. You know what I mean? But being an independent member of parliament also gives you a kind of autonomy. It gives you a feeling that you know you can say what you say and do what you do without interest. All right? But, you know, I felt this sitting as an independent member listening to the Democratic Democratic Social Policy that clearly that is what gravitated me back to the party. That I started with. Well, I, don't I, don't, I don't have no, or I have no ill feeling about not in the two parties, but I clearly understand. But I started with this, with this, and I finished it at the end. One of the persons who that I enjoyed working with is politics. Seriously, that was me and him. Actually, suffered, uh, you know, the relatives of me that we went out. Uh, we have to together. That was Rod. Uh, Rod was quite great for a very long time. And uh, we stayed here together. We were in the same But I enjoyed Rod company. I think that Rod is a decent gentleman that I have met in politics. And I don't really do that Rod is a very rare, rare politician. And you think of what you expect a politician to do. People in politics expect a politician to be a robust, argumentative, you know. You know, brass birds are ready to step all these gloves and fight at every corner. There must be something in decency in politics. There must be decent politicians in Barbados. There must be honest politicians in Barbados. There must be politicians who believe in what everything that they say that their duty is to represent the people. The people come first. Yeah. If they fight for the marginalized, the disenfranchised, the poor people across Barbados. Mm -hmm. And they the Barbados Civil Party giving the opportunity to do that when they appointed me as Minister of Social Justice. Right? And to me, being appointed as Minister of Minister of Social Justice, which was a kind of Catholic uh, position because they, they give you the opportunity to really fight for the poor. So that is like uh, a kind of uh, a kind of priority of thing because when you are when you being placed as a minister, you think about everything will be easy. A little did I know that being as a minister, social class will be a challenging that you have experienced as minister. Because a lot of people here, yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not minister. I'm not minister. I'm not minister. It's only because of their temper. And that is the thing that I'm saying, right? And to me, that was my life. I, I did add a hand on it. The other side of it, the thought was that we in Barbados have to stop judging people from where they come from, where they look like. You know, not to rest, you know, the color of a man, the color of a man here. You can't do that. A man should be judged by the content of his character. And therefore, when it was elevated to the position of social transformation, and people who scoff at it at the day. There's some people who are still, you know, have um, reservations up to now. The point is, is that I enjoy helping more people. Right. I don't want to when, when, when is that selection process occurring? I, I For the because, you know, if you're planning a foundation, you have to get the legal structures in there. You have to establish a board. 
you have to get the requisite of the person to sit on that board bid and decide that uh, it is a foundation. And people always like to question the office and get things better. And particularly when you're uh, uh, a grassroots player on the bar from the site, there'll be more school than than ever, you know, and I, I, I know that way. So we're going to adhere to all the principles, we're going to adhere to all the rules and regulations and establish that the foundation is something that will happen and it will be done and it will and it will include the the and it will represent the interest of the poor the poor cost One of the major things that we want to do is there are so many influential people of humanitarian that all have a foundation established. You have the Bill, you have Bill Clayton, you have Tony Blair, you have Mooney, Moon, uh, uh, the players for Manchester United, you have Oprah Winfrey, you have Michael, Michael Jack, the Jackson, and, Bill, um, the, all, and all of them have some kind of connection to our view. What we are looking at right now is pulling all of these foundations from across that area together to have a major conference, a human development conference. Where the, the architect of these foundations to come to Barbados and let us discuss a, de de a social developmental policy for planet Earth, particularly in states, which is one island developing states, and particularly there across South the, the Caribbean and South Sahara and Africa. We begin on Sunday, September the 12th, the second, sorry, with a church service. Um, this church service will be held at the Nazarene Church in Nava Rocks. It will be at 8 to 10 service. And everyone is invited um, to that service. And in the evening, we will then move to Queen's Park, where the Rastafari movement will be a tribute to Mr. Lashley. Um, as Mr. Lashley said, uh, the Lambert will get further details as it relates to that particular activity. But it is proposed to run uh, from 4 um, in the evening to 9 um, in the evening. <coughs> on Monday, on Wednesday, Wednesday is really a sports day where the sporting community of, of the area will pay a tribute. Um, we will have a football match. The match is, is in honor of Sylvester uh, Till Brown. Um, Mr. Lashley mentioned the tragic accident that he was in, that was the same when that died. And we have decided to pay a tribute to him. And we have a football match. We have Mr. Lashley select 11 versus the same mental from the top stars. And that match will be at 7 p.m. And it will be played at the Parkinson Community here. Um, and we are again asking everyone to come <coughs> and to have a in this time. And then on that same evening, we'll be having the Dale Bisco Memorial Netball match. Um, that will again be played at over by the hard coach by Parkinson. Um, this match will, will be played around 5.30. 5.30. Um, and this will be um, a, a celebrity um, netball team versus uh, a final netball team. We will move on to the Friday, uh, where we will have um, another sporting event. It will be a cricket match. Um, this match will be held in honor of the late Austin for Boy Henry. It will be a 2020 match. This match now will go to the, the next part of the, the constituency over to Mac Hill. Um, uh, playing field. Um, that match will be the last week, the Leverage team, uh, versus uh, uh, St. Michael South East Select. Uh, it will be 6 30, and we again ask everyone to be the to go and support this event. Having the, the one activity that we are looking to raise funds, um, it is the we have the last foundation for the raising dinner. Um, we are having it on Saturday, um, the 8th, um, from 6.30 to 9. We are looking to hold this activity at the Justin Hotel. It will be a, a paid event. It is the only paid event that we have in the week of activities. 
um, because we wish to raise funds for the formation. We have not as yet come up with a fee because um, when you're looking to charge people money in the last fee, always want you to charge them a very small amount. Mm -hmm. But realistically, when you have a, a dinner like this at, at Hilton Hotel, um, you have to find a cost that you can cover the cost of all the activities. Big mock food, uh, big mock crazy. A, a little money uh, to go to the foundation. So we are still um, finalizing that aspect, but everyone will be informed as to the cost for that um, event. And then we will end um, the activities in the last year on the Sunday, uh, the 9th, where we will have two activities. We will have a motorcade throughout the constituency um, beginning at 2 o'clock. And this motorcade will come at the Parkinson um, playing field um, around 4 o'clock. And then we will have a cultural extravaganza. Uh, this is held in honor of uh, Granny Mar Newton uh, uh, from Norwegian Hill. And we hope that with all of these activities, members of the community will come out to support them, especially the awards dinner, but that is the major activity that will be happening. And uh, that's what we are going to be thanking for last week for the contribution to the community of the last week. Thank you.